going on guys? John Alder here from CodeMe.com and in this video, we're gonna look at slicing NumPy arrays for machine learning in Python. All right guys, like I said in this video, we're gonna look at slicing NumPy arrays. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out CodeMe.com where I have dozens of courses with thousands of videos to teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off memberships, all my courses, videos, and books, runtime fee, which is insanely cheap. Okay, in the last video, we started to look at NumPy and NumPy arrays. In this video, I wanna talk about slicing arrays. So taking, you know, slices or chunks out of arrays in different ways, both one-dimensional arrays and multi-dimensional arrays. So head over to our code, I'm using the Sublime Text Editor and the Git Bash Terminal, as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist with all the other videos in this series. So check that out if you haven't so far. So I've got a file called slice.py, and it's our basic NumPy starter code. We've imported NumPy as NP. In the last video, we installed NumPy. We pip installed it, so you should have that already. If not, go back and watch that video. So what I'm gonna do is just create a quick little NumPy array. And remember, we do that by calling np.array. And then inside of here, we could just create any sort of array. And let's just go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, good enough, right? So our basic NumPy array. So now what if we want to return two, three, four, and five? So a slice containing this, how would we do that? Well, pretty simple. We can just print out our NP1 array. And inside of here, we designate the slice, just like a Python slice, right? So let's say we want one, colon five. So we want to start at the oneth item. Remember all arrays start at zero. So this is zero, one. So that will return two. And we want to return up to five. So zero, one, two, three, four, five. Notice six is our fifth item, right? We don't want to return six. This returns right up until that number. So it starts at the oneth item, it goes up until the fifth item. So that would be this slice right there. So the oneth item, this two, and the fiveth item, this six, but not including that six, not including the fiveth item, right? So we can go ahead and save this and run just to make sure this is working right. Head back over to our terminal and my C num directory, and let's just run Python slice.py. And in fact, we get two, three, five. So just a very basic, simple slice. So pretty simple. And this acts very much like a Python slice would. So how could we return from something till the end of the array, right? So say we want from four till to the end, to nine. Well, we could print MP1 and we say three colon and then nothing. So nothing just means till the end, right? So this will return though zero, oneth, twoeth, threeeth item, that's four, right? All the way up to the end. So this should return four through nine. Let's go ahead and save this and run it, make sure that worked. And we get four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, just like we would expect. Pretty simple. We can also return negative slices. And basically this will just start counting from the end backwards. So let's go print MP1. And then here we can just designate, let's say from negative three to negative one. So this would return seven and eight. So negative one, negative two, negative three. We start counting here at negative one. So nine is negative one. It's one back from the end, right? So negative one, negative two, negative three. So that will return seven. And we want through negative one. So remember, so negative one is this guy. So it will go up till, but not including that last one, just like up here where we went up to, but not including this guy right here. Same thing here. We start here and go up to, but not including this thing we've listed here as negative one. So this should return seven and eight. Let's go ahead and save this, head back over here, run this, make sure this works. And sure enough, we get seven and eight. In the last video, we talked about steps. We can return slices with steps as well. So let's say print, MP1, and we want, let's say, one through five. I just wanna print that out so we see what it is. But now let's say we also want one through five with steps. So again, this would be zero, one. So this will bring us what? Two through five. So this was zero, one, two, three, four, five. Six is the fifth item. So this will be two through five. Uh, let's do it like that. And this will be 
two through five in steps of two, right? So let's run this and see, because that's a little confusing to visualize. Remember the first one, we understand two, three, four, five, and this will return steps. So the two and four. So every other one, basically, right? Two and four, two and four. Clear this screen. Uh, it might be better, easier to visualize this uh, using steps on the entire array, let's say. So let's say we just want every other item. So we could go print MP1. And so we want colon, colon from the start to the end with steps two, right? So this will just print every other item all the way through our array. Run this guy, we get one, three, five, seven, nine. So one is the first one, step one, skip one, three, skip one, five, skip one, seven. We could do the same thing in steps of three if we wanted to. We just copy this whole guy. Instead of steps of two, we could say steps of three. If we run this, we get one, four, seven, every third one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So every third item, right? Pretty cool. Those are basic slices. Now we can also slice a 2D array. So, I mean, this is all basic Python stuff here, basically. Regular Python basically acts the same way with slices and arrays. But if we have a 2D array, that's slightly different. So let's just really quickly create a 2D array. I'm gonna call it MP2, short for NumPy2. And this is gonna be an np.array. And inside of here, let me just kind of rough this out. You see we have two dimensions and they're wrapped around their own brackets. So here, let's say we want what? One, two, three, four, five. And in this one, we want six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Right. So this is our first dimension and this is our second dimension. Well, first of all, how do we just pull an item out? Let's pull out a single item. Well, we could print out MP2 and let's say we want to pull out the eight right here. How do we do that? Well, we would designate this is the zeroth item and this is the oneth item. So we want something from the oneth item, right? And we want the second item. So zero, one, two. So the eight is the second item from the oneth row, I guess you would call it, right? So if we save this and run it, this should return eight. Let's clear the screen and boom, sure enough, we get eight. So that's how we pull one thing from a two dimensional array. How do we pull slices? Well, let's slice a 2D array here. So let's print NP2 and we're gonna have two things here, one thing here and one thing here. The first item here designates which row, right? And these don't look like rows, but normally they're kind of printed like this, right? So, so we want to say, hey, let's pull from this one. So we want from the zeroth item through the first item. So we're saying here from the zeroth to the oneth item. So this is zero, this is one. Remember when we had the second number, it means up till that one, but not including that one. So we're saying, hey, from the zeroth up till, but not including the second one. So that's basically just this one. And then the next element here is what do we want our slice to be? So let's say, I don't know, one through three, right? This is gonna return zero, one, two, three. So that's gonna return two and three, right? Because remember up until the third one, but not including it. So if we save this and run it, hopefully this will return two and three. And sure enough, it returns two and three. We could say, hey, return one through three item from both of these arrays by switching this, that's, let's say a slice from both rows by changing this to, to two. So now we're saying from zero up until, but not including the second one. Well, we don't have a second one. We have zero, one, two doesn't exist, but up until two would include both of these rows, right? So here, this should return two and three, and then zero, one, two, three, seven and eight, right? So two and three and seven and eight. Go ahead and save this, run it, make sure that worked through the screen. And here we get two and three and seven and eight. So here basically your regular slice rules apply for this guy that we just learned all up and through here, right? The only tricky thing is designating which row which dimension of your array to, to pull from, and uh, pretty simple and pretty straightforward. So that's a very quick primer on slicing NumPy arrays. Very useful, you use this for all kinds of cool stuff. 
And you should notice we're not changing the array when we're pulling a slice out of it. We're just grabbing sort of a snapshot out of it and using it. It doesn't change the original array in any way. It still exists. We're just pulling a slice out and doing something with it. So just sort of keep that in mind. So that's all for this video. If you'd like to be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off membership. So that's access to all my courses, over 50 courses, thousands of videos, and the PDFs of all my best selling coding books. Join over 150,000 students to learn to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codemy.com, and I'll see you in the next video.